As the cruise ship industry becomes more and more competitive, companies at the forefront are developing larger vessels than ever before. In January 2022, Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas became the biggest cruise ship in the world when measured by gross tonnage, and it's a true marvel of engineering. In this video, we're going to set sail with this record breaker, see just how impressive it is, and reveal some secrets that many of its guests will never know about. The Wonder of the Seas is the fifth of a planned six Oasis-class cruise ships being built by Royal Caribbean International. Despite being based on the same design as the previous ships, several upgrades were included in the Wonder that made it stand out above the rest as the world's largest, and it immediately became the company's flagship vessel. Costing an estimated $1.35 billion, the Wonder measures 1,187 feet and 10 inches long, has a maximum beam of 210 feet, and is divided up into 18 decks, of which 16 are designated for use by guests. With a gross tonnage of 236,857, there's room on board for as many as 6,988 passengers and 2,300 crew members. It's powered by six marine diesel sets, which provide all the energy needed for the onboard systems and the three azimuth thruster pods, along with the four bow thrusters that give the vessel a cruising speed of 22 knots, which is the equivalent of 25 miles per hour. The Wonder of the Seas is a virtual floating city, and while its specs may be impressive, it truly shines when it comes down to all the activities you can enjoy on board while traveling between destinations. Despite having a capacity for almost 7,000 passengers at a time, the designers of the Wonder of the Sea have ensured there's always plenty to do to keep everyone entertained. Across the 16 guest decks, there are 26 restaurants, with cuisines ranging from southern-inspired delicacies at the Mason Jar Southern Restaurant and Bar to Mexican, Italian and French cuisine, and plenty more. Drinks are also close to hand at the 15 bars and lounges, each one with its own vibe. One even has all its cocktails mixed and served by robots. Swimming is also a major part of life on the ship, with 19 different pools to choose from. Some are away from the main crowds and offer a calm, relaxing environment, while others are at the center of the action and feature water slides, a splash park for kids, a flow rider surf simulator, and plenty of smaller jacuzzis and whirlpools. Outside of the water, further exercise and outdoor pursuits are possible via a fully equipped gym, the running track around the top deck, the outdoor sports court where you can play basketball and volleyball, and even a permanent indoor ice rink. There are also two climbing walls to accommodate guests of all experience levels, a mini golf course, a bowling alley, and a 10-deck high zip line. A further option for adults who want to get away from it all is the solarium, which itself has hot tubs, a small pool, and plenty of chairs to lounge in. The whole space is fully enclosed and climate controlled, so it's the perfect place to unwind no matter the weather outside. It's not all about the physical activities, though, as no matter your taste or style, there's something on board for you. Broadway-style shows are performed twice a day at the 1,000-seater Royal Theatre. There are currently two productions, Voices, which is a virtual and live show that combines vocal, musical, and dance performances, and The Effectors 2, which is the sequel to one of the most popular Royal Caribbean shows that used state-of-the-art technology to tell a superhero story on stage. The other main venue, the Aqua Theatre, is where you'll be able to see Intense, which has the first all-female cast on a Royal Caribbean ship. This performance features aerial acrobatics, slacklining, high diving, and synchronized swimming, all supported by immersive lighting and sound systems, and is one to remember. Further shows can be seen at the Ice Rink as well as at the Attic, which is a smaller, intimate theatre. Music is everywhere. The Music Hall features musicians from many different genres, and live music can be heard throughout the ship, from piano tunes in the schooner bar to live guitar in the pub. The younger guests are taken care of too on this front with a dedicated teen disco where they'll hear all of their favorite hits. There's also what's billed as a red carpet casino experience on offer at the Casino Royale, and a more relaxed gaming experience at the 24-hour card room. And if culture's your thing, there's an onboard art gallery, a shopping arcade, and a chance to have your portrait drawn. While the adults pass the time watching sports and events at the Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade, there's plenty for kids to do too at the dedicated Kids Club area. 
Inside, they'll find an arcade, an escape room type game called the Puzzle Break Center, a karaoke club, and a carousel in the boardwalk section. And everyone will be drawn towards one of the most unique parts of the vessel, the Central Park, which is inspired by the park in New York City with more than 10,000 plants. Central Park has more greenery than you'd think was possible at sea, as well as coffee shops and entertainers. Although there is so much on offer throughout this huge ship, everything has been arranged within eight neighborhoods to make it as easy as possible to find your way around. The Boardwalk, the Pool and Sport Zone, Central Park, the Royal Promenade, Entertainment Place, Youth Zone, Vitality Spa and Fitness, and the Suite Neighborhood that's exclusively for use by guests staying in suites are all near each other. With most attractions available all day and night, you'll never be without something to do. And if anything, you'll wonder how there'll be enough time to fit everything in. Beyond the attractions that are on offer, the other important space that you'll be spending your time in is your cabin. With the Wonder of the Seas, Royal Caribbean has tried to offer options for families with a range of different budgets. And while you'll be able to set sail on board with decent private space, there really is no limit to how far you can go to enhance this experience. The entry-level interior cabins offer all the luxuries you'd expect from a room with the added benefit of having a virtual balcony. While there isn't an actual view out across the ocean, high-definition screens run almost the entire height between the floor and the ceiling that are used to project live-streamed images of what's outside. From there, there are options for larger interior rooms than the standard, and from there start the rooms with actual views. There are plenty of vistas to choose from, whether you want a balcony overlooking the ocean, windows looking out onto the Central Park, or even a room overlooking the aquatheater. Top of the list is the suites, which have a range of features such as private whirlpools, master bedrooms, dining areas, room to sleep up to eight people, a 24-hour concierge service, the most luxurious settings available at sea, and access to exclusive parts of the ship. Families, too, have a range of options available. This culminates with the ultimate family suite, which contains an air hockey table, table tennis, video game consoles, and even a slide from the top to the ground floor. Royal Caribbean has invested heavily into the Oasis-class ships, and this means that the Wonder of the Sea is operating on different routes as much as possible. Rather than sticking to the same region, it's scheduled to travel around the world to take advantage of the peak seasons in each area. This means that customers everywhere will have a chance to experience it for themselves. Despite initially planning on sailing in Asia, the Wonder was based at Port Everglades in Florida at first, and from there it sailed between islands in the Caribbean. Then, early in the summer, it moved to the Mediterranean, where it was based in Barcelona and Rome. The itinerary for late 2022 will see the Wonder returning to Florida in November. Then, early in 2023, it will finally serve the routes in Asia that had originally been planned. Every attempt is made to ensure each journey on the Wonder of the Seas goes beyond your expectations, but several features aren't so widely publicized. This means that you'll only be able to make use of them if you know about them. A great way to explore the ship is by looking out for all the amazing artwork. The atrium has a giant purple dragon that spans 10 decks, but a fun challenge is to find the three astronauts that are hidden there. One can be found peering through a window in Central Park, another is hanging on a rock climbing wall on the boardwalk, and the final one is somewhere around the pool deck. With so much to do, you'll probably find yourself taking lots of photos on your phone, perhaps needing some downtime with your computer. But there's no need to worry about finding a place to charge your device. Most of the bars, including the Schooner Bar, Mason Bar, Playmakers and Giovanni's Wine Bar, all have USB plugs that you can make use of. If you've been on an Oasis-class ship before, you'll probably know that the outdoor deck space on Deck 17 was reserved for sweet guests. This isn't the case on the Wonder, though. With plenty of comfortable places to sit, it acts as a much calmer and quieter spot where you can relax. Another quieter section is the Windjammer, which is the largest area in the fleet and has small separated areas, which are ideal from taking a break from busier parts of the ship. Also worth visiting for the same reason are the bridge wings that extend over the side of the ship from the solarium, again benefiting from being an enclosed and climate-controlled space. As the largest cruise ship currently in operation, the Wonder of the Seas is packed full of entertainment, activities, and adventure. Even if you've been on a cruise before, you won't have experienced anything quite like this. 
And when you add the fact that you'll be visiting a different great city every day or two, it surely can't be beaten. With so many package options, you can curate your booking to prioritize what matters to you. Royal Caribbean has truly found a way to offer the voyage of a lifetime to people of all tastes and interests. Did any of these amenities surprise you? Have you ever taken a cruise on Wonders of the Seas? Let everyone know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Most Extreme Innovation for more innovative content. Thanks for watching.